Yes, the Whitman's lightship. They're obviously having a few problems. <laughs> oh, the humanity. Over to you. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Well, the votes are in and counted. Ireland wants peace. A week after the historic referendum, the political and social ramifications are still being considered by all parties. Joining me from London is a very elated Prime Minister Tony Blair. Hello, Ross. Uh, just, it's lovely to be here. Just, just, just super. Mr Blair, I suppose describing you as elated is a bit of an understatement. Well, yes. I, uh, I think it's wonderful that two countries like Ireland can put aside their differences and, and join together to become uh, one uh, happy, wonderful place uh, like Britain. What makes it so absolutely spiffing, so um, incredibly wizard, is that all of the parties involved, and, uh, and some like Bill Clinton uh, and Bono, who aren't actually involved in any way at all, uh, have, have come together and put aside the problems of the past and, uh, and forged ahead to work together to create a lovely, wonderful, uh, simply marvellous uh, future for <laughs> all of us. And joining me now from Belfast, Sinn Féin leader Gerry Adams. <laughs> Mr Adams, do you share Mr Blair's enthusiasm? Sure. I don't perhaps express it in such a lunatic fashion, but yes, we're obviously looking forward to a life in Ireland resembling something that we all could have expected had we not been shagged over 200 years ago by the British. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Mary and St. Joseph. <laughs> 